both the edges with glue. So I want to see if that keeps the carbon fiber from kind of getting the little snags in it as I dab it on. The goal of this one is just to go ahead and get that first level of saturation all the way through before we start building up the more aesthetic coats. So far I'm not seeing any snagging, so that's good. I think this is going to be the solution for doing these pieces with this method. Working on coat number two now. It's been a couple of hours. The weave is already saturated from the first coat. It should soak up a lot less this time. So I'm going to put it on pretty thick and then dab off the excess later if it starts dripping down to the bottom. With a storm rolling in, so I'm hoping that I can get these cured enough before the storm starts. For our two coats, this is looking pretty good. I'm now sanding to remove the high areas so that we can start building up a more glossy finish that's smooth. Starting out with just handheld sandpaper and then I'm switching over to a sanding stick just to get it more level. There's still going to be some low spots. We don't want to sand all the way down because then I'm going to start sanding into the carbon fiber. So this will be uh, improved with additional layers of resin and layers of sanding. And I have removed all the dust so I've got another batch of resin mixed up here. I'm going to just brush this on and we'll be able to see a little better that shine again because you definitely lose that as you're sanding. I've still got some low spots on all the pieces, but that's why it's necessary to do multiple coats. With these parts being curved and the epoxy having a really low viscosity. Sand this down before adding another layer. Just gotta get this all fully flatted out. And I've got a bin of water over here. Just gonna be dipping my paper and my parts. It's gonna keep the dust under control and let me see a little better where I'm sanding. I'm using some alcohol just to wipe everything off, make sure I don't have any of my fingerprints left on there. I don't want any oils in my resin from my hands to get rid of any little fibers left from the paper towel. For that, I've just been using a Swiffer cloth, like a Swiffer dry, sleep, uh, Swiffer dry Sweeper. It seems to get the dust off well. Just have to watch out for any bits of it getting snagged off. Overall, this gets rid of those fine particles really nicely. Some of the issues that I've had here are just with the epoxy kind of bubbling up or getting gray sealer at this point. So they look really dull again because I've had to sand them. They're to 400 grit now. So we're gonna use the sealer to bring back out that carbon fiber. This enamel doesn't have normally so much of a problem with there, but I'm gonna need to polish this still because all of my finishes are having issues. I started out with 2000 grit, just trying to get this polished back to perfectly smooth finish. I'm gonna try 7000 now. This is getting me pretty close to where I need to be. The 7000, at least with as much as I did it, still <laughs> hasn't pulled this back to a full gloss. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some polishing compound, get it spread around first of all, and just give it a good buff. And then the question is, did I get out all of the imperfections on each piece? And I've already noticed on some of them, I'm gonna need to go back with some coarser grits to get rid of a few more little bubbles and stuff that I missed the first time around. I'm part way through the process of polishing the pieces to a high gloss finish, but I've paused because seeing it in context with the steel, I'm actually starting to like less of a super gloss finish. So, there it is next to the steel. Somehow this high gloss uh, next to the brushed steel look, it just isn't quite as appealing to me. It looks not appropriate to the style a little bit. I'm not sure, but I'm kind of leaning towards keeping it 